Hey guys, this is Marcos and today we're going to talk about the third plugin in our three-part video series. The first uh, video covered channel EQ, the second covered compressor, and finally today we're going to talk about the adaptive limiter, which is the only three plugins I use. And like I mentioned in the first video, I'm by no means a professional. This is just the simplified way that I like to do things. And it's not perfect by any means because I'm not a professional at this, but it does get me a uh, better sound. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how the adaptive limiter works. Okay, so we've done channel EQ and we've done compressor. Check out the last two videos if you haven't already watched them, watch those first. The next step is to apply an adaptive limiter. An adaptive limiter is a way to you know, triple check that your audio doesn't clip. We don't want it to go above zero dB. So if we play this, let's keep an eye on the audio meter on the right hand side. Let's play this. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you that because if you're gonna be shooting YouTube videos, just know that a vintage lens is a little bit more work. You, you see the audio is basically coming in at negative six, which is really good, but we wanna boost it a little bit more and get, give a little bit more loudness because people are gonna be watching our YouTube videos on their tablets or their phones and we're competing with ambient sound. So let's try to make it as loud as we can. So let's search for the adaptive limiter. Adaptive limiter, it's just a way to make our voice loud without clipping it. So we drop it in, here it is. Let's click on the adaptive limiter and there's three knobs here. And I found that sometimes this audio meter down here is off, it's wrong. It's telling us it's coming at negative six but when you play the audio, the output over here says negative three, negative 1.5. So don't trust this. I don't know why, but it's something that I've, I've seen happen. So I wouldn't fully trust this audio meter over here on the right hand side. I much rather go to this one. Okay, so let's play the audio again. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you that because if you're gonna be shooting YouTube videos, just know that a vintage lens is a little bit more work. You have to set focus using something, then you got to step in and you have to remember. Okay, so the, it's coming out of negative six, negative three. We can have, a, first of all, let's set the out ceiling to like negative eight, negative, negative one decibel. That means that anything that tries to go above zero it's gonna be dropped down to negative one decibel. So nothing can go above zero. If we're applying a hard stop, there nothing can go, nothing can clip basically. We're also gonna add some, some gain, maybe add a little bit more, maybe like five decibels. Let's play this again. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you that because if you're gonna be shooting YouTube videos, just know that a vintage lens is a little bit more work. You Let's play a little bit more, let's go to five. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you that because if you're going to be shooting YouTube videos, that's pretty good. Our audio is coming in at around negative three decibels. Uh, on this side, it's, it's also actually it's corresponding. This one is the same as this. So that's good. This time it is the same, but I've seen where times where it's not the same. So just keep aware of that. So that's basically how you do it. You get rid of the bad frequencies with the channel EQ. With the compressor, you, you normalize your voice. Basically, you're making the loud points less loud and the quieter parts louder. And with the adaptive limiter, you maximize the audio volume and without clipping it. So that's basically the idea behind all these three plugins. So that's the third and final step I take in processing my audio. I do channel EQ, compressor, and finally this adaptive limiter. Uh, I know you can do other stuff to your audio. You can get fancier, but I like to keep it simple and straightforward. So if you guys have any questions or I wasn't clear about anything, please drop them down below. Please drop your questions or if you know better ways to do it, share those below. Also, uh, if you found it useful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So guys, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video.